All right, welcome back to a brand new video of the targeted individual program. So they're back on that, <laughs> using the sirens again whenever I put my earbuds in my ear, you know, whenever it says uh, connected, <laughs> right? Uh, or it says power on. You hear, ooh, ooh, connected, ooh, ooh. <laughs> right? What happened? Are they, they scared of black people or a black man having power? You know, it's uh, in the Malcolm X movie by Spike Lee. You know, when the racist cop says, no, uh, uh, one man shouldn't have such power. Again, this is something that, you know, we as black people need to understand. We understand our history. We understand their history. Again, and their history in terms of how uh, black people turn white or Caucasian and Arabs, <laughs> you know, and Asians, that sort of thing. Because uh, when they go back into the history, uh, you know, they find the beginning of every culture, of every civilization. You'll find the black man and the black woman, the African man and the African woman. And they know this, but they still continue to perpetuate the lies. Again, through psychological manipulation. You know, I'm always, I'm always uh, shaking my head whenever you know, you have um, these Arabs on Facebook and they're, we know what they're doing in terms of, um, you know, covering up the history of black people in Egypt, repainting the, uh, what they call the hieroglyphics, but it's actually the Medunetra, repainting the characters to have a lot of complexion to match their complexion. And again, it shows you, right, the lack of respect for what our ancestors did. Because if black people was to do that to their uh, paintings, right? You, you know, all hell would break loose, right? But this is again, the lack of uh, respect for black people. And I said, black people, we have to stand up and say no more. Look, LTH 3259, he's looking over there. Look, got the white dude, right? A lot, of, most Caucasians are racist as shit. And we got to understand that. Now, it's not all of them, but it's the vast majority of them. And they have engaged in psychological warfare, environmental warfare, all kinds of warfare against us, right? And we'll, we just sit there and we just take it. We're like, okay, you know, but I understand, look, in my PD over there, there's a lot of them today. Uh, you know, cognitive warfare. Again, if we don't begin to understand these things, and if we don't begin to develop uh, countermeasures and also offensive measures of our own also using cognitive warfare against them and even newer cognitive warfare because we cannot continue we cannot continue to be so docile and so um, acceptance of these things that they can come in and say hey you know what we have this program we're going to have to we know that that's not that's not true <laughs> we know that's a lot Look at another number 32, EM63329. They got a racist predators in my New York predator department. Okay? <laughs> and uh, the girl in the purple bonnet, you know, doing the, the hand, uh, palm fixations right behind her back. And again, you know, they false narrative. You know, that's what they'll try to say, right? Now let's look at let's look at the truth. Okay, let's look at the truth. The truth is most men in period, most men period, are not having sex. Why? Look, another uh, is it the same one? Same. I think it might be the same vehicle. Uh right? Compared to women. Right? So when they try to say that oh you are as a man you know you will play and this and that right trust me these women are playing you more than you think that you're playing them they know okay they know i tell you i've had my experience with it and i can speak on my own experience and not saying that you know not speak for anybody else but when i look at the numbers and statistics which women participate in which men participate in right women cheat more than men it's just men are more honest enough to admit it, right? Women will do all kinds of things. Cheat on men in the relationship. End up getting pregnant, 
and act as if they didn't cheat. Not honest enough to tell their partner or their husband that, hey, you know what, I cheated, there's a possibility that this child may not be yours. No, they remain silent and they have a man raising somebody else's child, right? <laughs> well into their 20s and would never know. And if they do know, that man exhausted almost damn near half a million dollars, right? I'm raising that child, or those, those kids. So again, women would like to say, well, it's the same thing as men cheating as women cheating. No, it's not the same. No, it's not the same, right? And so why is that? It's because the state, the racist state, have empowered women, particularly black women, to engage in such behavior. So when I talk about most white people are racist, you know, they show us all the time that they are because they are not doing anything to tear down the system of white supremacy, right? If the majority of white people was not racist, then there would be a rebuilding of the system to be much more fair but it's not it's not and they're even racist against their own poor white individuals particularly those in the south right who are poor okay names like white trash black people didn't develop that <laughs> okay that was white people calling poor white people that okay they have always been like that and with no propensity to change no ability to change but they want you and i as black people as people of color uh, you know to change to change how to allow them to continue to do what they are doing and not uh fighting back not saying um you know hey we need to create a, a more fair and just society they are not about that but i tell you what they will run psychological warfare on us in order to manipulate look, 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 in order to manipulate us into engaging on um, you know these sort of behavior you know into engaging in destructive behavior against one another while they sit back and say look see is there for right but they will never accept the blame that they create the conditions they create the programs to condition our minds they ignore the conditions in which we live in and they have the power right they're in control right so again and again i was using the, 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 the yeah, fuck you too again turning one uh, uh, black men against each other because these sambos they think that they're better because what yeah you driving the bus okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean come on because you got a job makes you better but that's the mindset of how they condition black men to be against each other. And I have never been like that. Okay? Never. And again, this is what they don't want. When they see black men who have sense helping each other, they don't like that. And so they will get the Sambos to engage in all sorts of tactics and methods. And it's fine. And the Sambinas is fine because guess what? They can ignore the truth all they want. But guess what? They're being, particularly for women, black women, they're being diagnosed with... Um, majority of uh, who are mentally ill black women majority who are obese black women and then black men right then when it comes to self-deletion black men is number one right why is that but i want you to understand how they can get the community particularly black people to become radicalized attack one of their own while ignoring the attacks being done to them right so again cognitive warfare and they're very lucky that I understand what's going on and trying to educate them. And hopefully some of them are going to listen and take what I say to heart and really go and do the study and do the research and, either, you know, reverse the conditioning, right? Stop paying more attention to our younger generation of, of children so that they can grow up to have a better chance, right? Stop creating passivity in their mind towards other groups of people, but then you're allowing them to become, to be violent to each other. You know, it makes no damn sense, right? But again, I understand the psychological conditioning. You gotta wake up, you gotta re-educate our minds, re-educate the people, and move forward. Thank you. Talk to you guys in this regard. Oh, they don't, they, see, they don't like these messages. They don't like messages of unity and black people moving forward. They don't like that shit at all. <laughs> Talk to you guys in the next video.